This is Sheba. I wrote her in today because I'm telling you she's a better person. <laughs> Oh man, I, I have been, maybe I'm the only one in the world, but I've been laughing at that video since last night since I found it. I thought, you know what, let me just start the video off with this one. Maybe it'll get people a nice laugh. I don't know, I'm not a, I don't need cats or anything. I'm a dog guy, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that in there. I thought maybe I'll start off every video with just some kind of crazy video clip that maybe gives people a laugh, right? Because you know, in, the, in these times we're in now, I think laughing is important. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments and stuff. Um, but more importantly, I wanted to talk about a sector in the stock market that, to me, is not getting enough attention. There's been this big move in it over the last three weeks. There's a major catalyst for this. I'm actually going to show you this. And you're not going to see it on, I haven't seen it at least on any of the big YouTube channels. The reason why that is because, you know, these kind of videos will not get a lot of views at all because it is a very non-sexy type of investment, uh, boring investment. And sometimes, you know what? Boring investments make the best investments, okay? And that thumbnail you clicked on, the return you saw, that's in four weeks on those stocks and ETFs that I got listed right there. And I'm going to show that to you over the last four weeks. And so that's a big move in something that's non-EV, non-growth stock, all of that, okay? And so that's why I always want to bring it to your attention because I think you, it definitely needs to be on your radar. It's definitely been on my radar for the last 10 days. This so is definitely one of those videos that's not being put out for views at all. Okay. And of course, guys, before we get into it, don't forget to use that link down the bottom. Try to open you an account with BlockFi if you're looking to get into crypto and ride this wave up, which is what I've been doing. You can earn interest on your Bitcoin. You can open uh, the new credit card where you can earn Bitcoin on every purchase. You can take out loans, all kinds of fun stuff. And so that's what I've been doing this whole time. And having said that, let's go ahead and get into the sector I'm talking about. And so guys, the boring sector I'm talking about is uranium, which we've had members bring up like Deborah uh, last year, I believe it was, and, and for months on end. But you can see right here, I mean, the spot, the, the price is absolutely skyrocketed from 30 to 38 in a matter of basically two weeks. And, you know, you may think that's a lot. And you go, oh my God, that's straight up. Well, actually, if you look here, you'll see in 2003, this thing started to run up, ran up for four years. All right, ran up from almost ten dollars to a hundred and forty dollars. All right, and then from there, all it's done is just sold off. Had a couple of run-ups, but mostly just trending down. All of a sudden, see that blip? That was the the run-up I just showed you, which looked huge, right? Now you look at it in this context, doesn't look very big at all. All right, at thirty-eight dollars and seventy cents. And before we get into what's caused this massive surge in the prices, a rapid surge in the prices, I should say of uranium you know let's understand uranium for a second one it accounts for 10 to 12 percent of the worldwide power out there right now two you can't replace it right there's only one thing that can you know, power a nuclear power plant that's uranium so it's not like you can substitute something for it all right uh, so that's a good thing for uranium uh, you know three what are we going through right now across the world decarbonization that's what they're trying to do well uh, uranium is the largest form of energy uh, that is emissions free okay four you look in between uh, i've read anywhere from 50 to 60 new plants coming online uh, that are being built um, and so you know that's something to also uh, keep in mind there'll be obviously uh, nuclear reactors taking off there'll be new nuclear reactors coming on and so but understand that that's a big thing that we're trying to push for so and something else is very important to understand is the people that the companies that mine uranium you know a lot of them have just basically cut production like crazy because it's just not sustainable. They're just losing money by doing it because the prices have maintained and stayed so low for so long. And so to see this price increase you know, is, is obviously makes a lot of people happy who are involved in investing in uranium for sure. Uh, but you know everything I read and, and understand, since I'm not a uranium expert, what I do, I go out and find people that all they do is uranium. Right, they, all they do is have a company that talks about uranium. All they do is invest in uranium, that kind of stuff, and see what they're saying. And so this is why I wanted to put this out there now. We're only three weeks into this move, and to see if it's a blip on the radar or not. Right? Is this just something uh, that's just a flash in the pants, or what are we talking here? And everyone I ran across, whether it's the guy I ran across who's 100% invested in uranium, it's all he does. Another guy runs a company. Uh, that's all he does is send out newsletters and data and research on uranium. It's a paid membership. 
Uh, a couple other people I ran across, all they did was break down uranium and other precious metals as kind of their forte. But the one thing I kept coming across was every one of them used some kind of sports analogy of some kind. You know, one guy said he's on the third hole uh, out of 18 in golf. Another person said it's like the fourth inning uh, in a baseball game. And so the takeaway was this is very early on, this move up, this price move. And also this is game changing. What's causing this is game changing for the uranium market. And so I said, oh, well, that gets my attention. And that's why I started doing more digging, right? So what is causing this to happen, okay? Because not only is the price moving up, obviously when the price moves up, what happens to all the mining stocks that you know mine uranium, the ETFs, that kind of stuff? Well, they move up too. You, that's what you saw on the thumbnail, those percentages there. Uh, in such a short amount of time, which we're gonna go in more detail on, okay? And so here's what has caused this huge, basically fast, quick move up in uranium prices and their stocks. And it's called Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. It's out of Canada, it's traded on the uh, Canadian Stock Exchange only. It is the world's largest physical uranium fund. It gives daily reports on their purchases. And these are the companies they use to actually buy and hold physical uranium. So this is backed by physical uh, uranium. And so what happened on August 17th, which you'll see by the charts, that's when the, these, all these stocks and price started to move up. Well, that's when Sprott Physical Uranium Trust launched. It was on August 17th. And you can see right here by the charts, there you go. This is basically two ETFs that do uranium and three mining companies. And you can see all of them started to take off. Here's what you saw on the thumbnail. These are those companies, okay? Uh, massive moves, especially on Paladine uh, Energy at 70% in the last four weeks. You see the rest of them are anywhere from 25 to 35% moves. Uh, some of these are penny stocks as well. Cameco is definitely not a penny stock. It's on the American Stock Exchange, or the New York Stock Exchange, excuse me. If you look at the last five days. You now you can see massive moves over the last five days. So these are pretty much on fire right now. And of course, it's not just Sprott coming online on August 17th is what they've been doing. They have been on a massive buying spree, okay? I mean, I've read they personally were up to almost like 67% of worldwide uranium production over the last two weeks. They are going to secondary markets now, trying to find places to find actually physical uranium to purchase, all right? And so, you know, understand I heard the CEO the other day talk about they bought a uranium trust, right? And it had about $650 million, my understanding, on the books. Well, they've already got that up to around $900 million in just a couple months. You know, they continue to raise money so they can continue to purchase uranium. Right? They're basically cornering the market from what I understand on this. And so what happens when the company corners the market on something? Right? What happens if, if supply is taken out because they own it? Right? They bought every excess supply they can get. They're just scooping it up, scooping it up, right? And so that's what's driving this price up. But even where the price is at now, every person I you know listen to here uh, that just does nothing but cover uranium said this is unsustainable. As far as not the the price is too high right now, it's too low. The reason why it's too low is because the, remember the mining companies have taken mines off line because they were losing money. Right? It was costing more money to mine than they were getting. So they just took some a lot of these mines offline. They said they need to at least try to get to sixty are hired to even try to really make money okay and so that's the thing about where there's so speculation like is this price going to continue to rise will it continue to go straight up most likely not of course but you know will it continue to rise over the next 24 months and i've seen any projections anywhere from around 70 to 90 dollars in the next 24 months somewhere in there and so we're sitting at 38 now i've seen projections saying we need to get to 39 40 to even start to have the party right to even talk about this and so it's right there i think this caught a lot this move was so fast that it just caught a lot of people off guard because most people don't even know about uranium or ever talk about uranium i mean think about that who talks about this stuff not many unless you're really into the commodity market but if you're in the high growth stocks and everything else like i am you're not talking about uranium with hardly anybody, even though a couple of our members have been talking about it over the last year, at least. And I think I, I touched base on them. I talked about Rio Tinto and some other uh, companies as well. And so, you know, that's what has got people kind of worked up saying, man, I mean, th these, these stocks are moving, as you've seen uh, on those numbers right there. And But if you remember, look what happened last year to the corn, wheat, I don't care what it was, but name the commodity, they just started skyrocketing, right? And eventually they hit their peaks and they come down and all of a sudden they maybe start to come up again. But maybe it's uranium time. And a lot of people, like I said, 
it doesn't matter what sports analogy they use, you know, they say this is the early innings of a baseball game. This is the third hole uh, of a golf game at 18 holes. And so they're not looking to exit anytime soon. You could definitely have a lot of people exiting. But the one thing you got to be careful about here is, you know, I'm going to show you on all these charts and tell me if you see a pattern here. Well, be careful on your entry point. As you can see, I mean, this is Cameco right here, and this is the RSI. So obviously, guess what that is? Way overbought. This is one of the ETFs. Way overbought. This is the other ETF I just showed you. Uh, starting to see a pattern here. This is one of the penny stocks I showed you as well. Look at that right there. It's the Dennis and Mines. You know, I mean, you can see most of them are over 80, some of them are over 90 on the RSI. And of course, you know, let me be very clear, this is not financial advice, but if you're looking to try to play this, whether it be from a short term or long term, you know, possibility, I think obviously if you look at options, the implied volatility is through the roof, uh, unless you go deep in the money options. Uh, but also, you know, looking in, I mean, those penny stocks are cheap and dirt anyway. It seems like the better way to go is the stock at this point in time, unless again, you're going deep in the money options. Another one I'll put out there, I actually wrote this one down, it's called Standard Uranium OTC stick, uh, ticker STND. It's going for 41 cents. It's up 61% in the last five days. So you throw a rock, they're all on fire, right? And so, you know, just kind of put that out there to you. So you got, you know, there's one I showed you, you got a couple OTCs. You got one uh, Cameco's on the uh, NASDAQ. You got the two ETF, which might might even be a better way to play it as well. And so if you're looking to get into it, but as I showed you, be careful if you just dive in here first in this, because you see how overbought they are and everything always comes down uh, from overbought territory. So be very careful on that. I think it's just, you know, take your time, get your entry point. All stocks pull back at some point in time when they go up like this, nothing goes straight up. But this could be something that runs for, you know, three to five more months, right? Could be something that runs for two more years, up and down, up and down. So you really got to pick and choose where you're doing short term, medium term, or long term on this, okay? Because there's going to be some heartaches along the way. There's no doubt about that. And so it just depends on what your entry point is and when you're getting in this thing. But I at least want to bring it to your attention. So obviously, uh, make you aware of that. And you can put it on your watch list at least um, so maybe you don't miss the boat. Uh, if there is a boat to be had. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Appreciate that. Any stocks or ETFs in the uranium sector you suggest as well. And do you think the party's over already? Or do you think it's just getting started? That's the question. All right. So I hope you guys have a good day. Don't forget to use that link down the bottom. Go ahead and open your account with BlackFi right there. Enjoy and earn some of that interest and that ride up on cryptocurrencies, guys. I'll see you later.